Today I'm going to create a tutorial on um, using a table view which will be filled with arrays and dictionaries and these the values from the dictionaries for example will be passed on to a detail view. Um, using, using the latest Xcode it gives you a template for a master detail application. Uh, we'll be using this although it will contain some code which we won't actually use so I'll be removing that and changing a few bits. So I'm just going to create a new project here. I'm just going to call it tutorial. Uh, for the iPhone. I'm just going to build this and show you what the application is when you start off. Right, here it shows a table view controller with an edit and an add button. The add button creates date time um, cells and here they can be edited. Um, and when you click on them it goes to the detail view and obviously shows the value which was in the table. Yeah, we're going to edit this now. Uh, we'll go into the implementate the header file. Sorry for the master view. Here it says it shows the detail view controller. We'll be using this view controller. Uh, if we go into the implementation file, we've got a mutable array for objects. We'll be changing this. Uh, we'll be, I'm going to remove these navigation items. We won't be using them. Uh, also, this insert new object as we'll be using hard coded values and also the editing we won't be using and the did, se did select row will be modifying a bit so I'm just going to comment that out first <clears throat> so still in this implementation file I'm going to keep this mutable array for objects uh, we'll be modifying this later on and view did load I'm going to remove these edit items as we won't be using them Move this comment Remove the insert new object. I'm going to remove the text label information from the cell, cell for row and also the editing styles and a few comments. So you can say pretty much blank table view there. So we're going to start off with these objects um, and I'm going to just fill them out with some information now. First I'm going to create um, a few objects inside. So objects equals So here we've initialized the objects. So here we've got the objects and keys. Um, I'm going to create two things, a title and a detail. The title will be the main title label for the cell and the detail will be a subtitle shown in the cell. So for the first title I'm going to have this is a title and that's for the title key and then this is a detail for the detail key. I'm going to do the same for a second object, object 2. I'm just going to rename the values, some title and some detail. I'm going to add these to the objects array. So objects, add objects, object 1. Now if we go down to the cell, this is where we're going to show these values and the cell has got different text labels, it's got the normal text label and it's got a detailed text label. So I'm going to set the first one, so cell.textlabel.text equals, we'll get the objects array object to index, we want the index path dot row and then we want the object for the key, this one is going to be the title key. Equally for the detail text label, we're going to do something similar. So we've got the objects array, object index, index path dot row, object for key, detail. 
Can I view this? There we go. This is a title, this is a detail, and some title, and some detail. After clicking on that, I really can do anything yet. So, this is where the did select row index path comes on. And also the detail view controller. So here we've got a detailed description label. I'm going to another one called uh, title label. And here as well. Title label. So, so and here I'm going they've already got a detail item. I'm going to set a title item. Set title item. It's pretty much the same code here. Now rename that to title item. Title item. Configure view. If self dot title here we go A property strong title item self dot Title label dot text equals self dot title item description. If you did unload self title label equals nil. And then from the master view, we're going to configure these. So if I uncomment those, I hope it checks if the detail view controller has been. Initialized or not, if it hasn't, it will allocate it with the nib name of detail view controller. Um, we are not actually using the NS date, uh, we're actually using NS dictionary from the index path in the objects. So, detail item will be object, object for key detail, and then self dot detail view controller dot title item equals object object for key title and then it'll push it now we just need to go into the detail view controller and add the title label and go into files owner and drag the outlet to that let's see if it works oh. Got a warning there. There you go. Title item equals title equal. There we go. This is a title, this is a detail. Let's go into the nib file and increase that a bit. Let that run. Yeah, this is a title, this is a detail. Some detail and some title. Um, and that's shows briefly how to use uh, these dictionaries and arrays to fill out information in a table and pass it onto a view controller. Thank you very much.